Welcome back to Midday Kentucky. Chef Allison Davis here in the Wild Time Kitchen. And today I'm talking about um, one of my household favorites, and it's a go to great uh, lunch option. You know, I'm always talking to clients and talking to people about just things that we can make ahead, take to work, and that's satisfying, filling, unique, different, you know, because nobody wants to eat the same thing every single day. And this is definitely a favorite for my husband and I. Um, typically, uh, we have tuna salad once a week, but I want wanted to do a spin on classic tuna salad and in this recipe we're going to make a uh, Mediterranean salmon salad. So instead of the tuna, which you could absolutely substitute if you prefer, I went with the wild caught uh, canned pink salmon and um, I mentioned wild caught because that's definitely what you want to look for when you're purchasing a canned uh, seafood product like tuna or salmon. So um, just keep that in mind when you're looking and always just in water or nothing that's in oil. Um, it's just added uh, calories and it's really just unnecessary. So definitely look for the wild caught or line caught option. All right, so we're going to make our dressing first, and this is going to be a tahini, uh, like I said, a Mediterranean uh, salad. So I'm going to start with the dressing, and basically, depending on how much you're making, you're going to go about equal parts. Uh, tahini is a, just a ground sesame seed paste, and then we're going to go with some lemon juice, and again, equal parts, and then water. All right, so very, very simple three ingredients, tahini, lemon juice, water, and then I'm just going to add a touch of salt and pepper. All right, I've got a little whisk here. Just going to get that little extra tahini off of our spoon and just whisk that together. The tahini is going to add a nice little kind of creamy quality to this. Um, so that right there is the base of your dressing, okay? If you want a little sweetness, I don't see why you couldn't add like maybe a touch of honey to this, but um, you'll see we're going to get that from our orange in our salad, so I don't know that it's necessary. All right, then all we're going to do is just add in our salmon. We are going to chop up let me move this down. And I did drain that salmon, so I want to make sure that that's mentioned. You want to drain the salmon or the tuna so that it's nice and dry and doesn't like water down, you know, the whole dish. I've got some pitted olives here. I've just got a combination, but you could get just kalamatas if you wanted. Uh, but just some nice, you know, pitted olives that are going to go in. It's going to add a nice salty kind of brininess um, into this salad. Um, when I make tuna salad at home, I like pickles, so if you want, I mean, add pickles. This is really kind of just build your own, make your own kind of to your liking, to your taste buds. Uh, but in this case, I'm going a Mediterranean route, so we're going to go with the olives. All right, and lastly with this, I'm going to add in some fresh dill and some fresh uh, parsley. I love fresh herbs in salads like this just because they really pop and they really give it some uh, nice, vibrant, you know, flavors. All right, so dill, parsley, and we're going to add that in. And then we'll give this a nice little stir and kind of see if we need to add any more dressing in. Grab my spoon here. All right, so I've got a bed of spinach that I'm going to serve this on, um, and let's see, here we go. Beautiful. And if you wanted, I think, for even a little bit more pop of color and sweetness, as I was mentioning, a little roasted red pepper would go really nice in this. All right, the last thing we're going to serve with this is I'm just going to take an orange and just kind of take off the uh, peel, and so just kind of cut around. I always cut the bottoms off first to give it a flat side, and then just follow that rind. Just take that knife around, follow that rind, and then we'll just add some slices of that orange right on the plate with our salad. So in a matter of minutes, you've got a nice salad for work that... Um, is going to be filling, it's going to be flavorful, and it's really going to kind of hit the mark, you know, for a weekday lunch. All right, guys, you can find this recipe. Go to middaykentucky.com forward slash recipes tab. I'm Chef Allison Davis. Thanks so much for watching. We'll be right back after this short break.